Welcome to our special hard questions panel. Before we get to that question for today, I do want to uh, point out that we have our God's Word for Real Life. Mm -hmm. And then the interview with Karen, she encouraged us to put God's Word in our heart every day. It's like having a prescription from your doctor. You know, you want to do it every day. You want to put it in so that you get the benefit. You got to put the benefit of God's Word into your heart every day. And that's what this devotion helps you to do in sync with what we're doing here at Cornerstone and on Real Life. So I wanted mm -hmm. you to have that opportunity. Well, on the panel today, the co-pastor of Reverend Dreamy. Pastor McDreamy. McDreamy. Wasn't he good on yes, the he, word yeah, for today? Got, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Amy Schaefer from Grace Life Church. He did a fantastic job. And Dr. William Glaze, pastor of Bethany Baptist Church. Amen. And you are a fine man, brother. You're, God bless you. You're all McDreamy. <laughs> all McDreamy. All right. Oh, I'm, I'm another. My, McNightmare. <laughs> McPete. <laughs> Petey. <laughs> Petey, pastor of the Rainbow Temple in McKeesport, Pennsylvania. And then our dreamy chaplain, uh, <laughs> Chuck Hamby, who is always part of our panel. We're so glad. You guys are always uh, we come and go on the panel. Our hard question today comes from. Kendo and Kendo asks, when you go to heaven, will you be the same age as you are when you pass? Mm. Who's going to handle that one first? Well, I'll say that, you know, there's a lot of different interpretations as to how we'll be when we get to heaven. You know, some people think that we'll be the same age that Adam was when he was created. Mm -hmm. Others say that, you know, we'll be the same age as Jesus was. But the bottom line is the Bible really doesn't tell us how it will be. But I would have a tendency if, if, to give my guesstimation that we would be the same age as Jesus, uh, which has been his mid-30s. In his mid-30s. Yes. For sure, we will be like him. Mm -hmm. we, regardless, you know, again, we, we think in time and age, and, and it's hard for us to, to stop and think that, uh, and again, we are his masterpiece. We're part mm -hmm. of his masterpiece. And, you know, to think uh, Don will never grow old. Uh, it's going to come to a time of no age is going to cease. Right. That's right. And I know it's not the concrete answer that I'm <clears throat> sure that Kendall's looking for, but the point is um, we will be like him. I, I, think, um, I think that heaven is going to shock us all. I think probably there is going to be kind of a metamorphosis mm. that when I get there, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to go there being in my 70s, 80s, 90s, 100, you know, whenever. But once I am there, the atmosphere of heaven, I think, and, and please understand it's also a spiritual body. Right. Uh, so that, that changes everything the because yeah. we don't know how that functions. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, children who are aborted, do they just boom show up as adults? I don't know. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good I, point. I kind of think maybe they grow up in that atmosphere, mm. and we will. I think we will even out, like you said, Doc, mm. in that central mid thirties range. Full right? maturity. Yeah. Full maturity. And and peak performance. Mm -hmm. Because heaven isn't Woo! just laying that's back on your cloud, good. going plink plink <laughs> on your heart. Heart. Well, it says we're going to have a glorified body because we're actually leaving yeah. this shell here right. because who we really are is the spirit man mm -hmm. that's on the inside. We're going to be with glory, but it does say that we will be known like we're known mm -hmm. down here. And so did you see the movie Heaven is for Real? Mm -hmm. yes. And I'm not saying that's scriptural or anything, but everybody looked about like that age, mm -hmm. you know, that, that youthful, but, but wisdom and maybe that 30-ish age. Now, I'm not saying that scriptural, not, but I know, you know, my dad's not going to be looking down going, hey, this is, body is like glorious at yeah. 70. He just turned 70. I mean, he's going to want his glorified body right. when he's, yeah, sure. Well, we have a sample. You know? We have a sample. We don't have to guess. Right. Because we don't have, we, we, got, we got a prototype. Mm -hmm. Jesus died. He rose from the dead. And then what he said to Mary, don't touch me because right. I haven't been to the Father yet. In other words, right. I haven't received my glorified body. Mm. Right. Then he went 
and he came back, and then he said to, uh, to Stephen, mm -hmm. well, here, you can touch, yeah, touch, touch, touch mm -hmm. me where the, yeah. the, the holes are. So he had received his glorified body, right. and he right. was the same age in his glorified body, appearance-wise, yeah. as he was when he was crucified. Mm -hmm. But he didn't have all of the markings of the crucifixi crucifixion except for the holes in his, in his body, which were representative of... Can we request... No wrinkles, no. no no missing hair. I don't know. You know, there's been a lot of discussion about where you have the scars in your body. I don't know about that, but I, I'm very confident that his prototype is what it's going to yeah, be with us. We be yeah. like, yeah. And you know, Bill Gillum calls these our Earth suit. Yeah, 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 yeah they are. Yeah. Right. They're we'll not take, good for we'll any place we'll else. We'll take off this earthly town. Yeah, yeah. And I like the Adam and Eve relationship right. call because they were made at maturity. Right. Mm -hmm. They were not made to die. Right, they exactly. were made to be sustaining, a, dy right. a dynamo of life. Right. Everlasting. Everlasting, yeah. ever renewing. Our bodies renew, and every seven years your body renews, mm -hmm. except sin help, takes us down. Mm -hmm. But in our new body, we won't have that taken right. down. And if, if you think about how that, when God created Adam and Eve, that, you know, they had that ability to be eternal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, God said, in the day that you eat from the mm -hmm. tree, you shall surely die. die. That's right. But they didn't die when they ate. But what happened? The process of death Earth entered their body. They right. began and now, to die. Right. And I say people that here either began to turn gray or turn loose, you know, right. and that, you know, so it just that, that aging process entered into their body. When my father passed away, he was 78 years old and it was a devastation to me. And, mm -hmm. and I went, you know, in our, in, in our culture, in our tradition, you have viewings, two viewings yeah. of the body. That's mm -hmm. what they call them, wakes. And, and I went to the first one and there he was in the uh, casket and, you know, he had been through his disease, sickness. And we had a picture of mom and dad at their 50th anniversary on the, on the mm -hmm. bottom of the, of the coffin. And I went back home that night and I went through my, I was the executor, I went through all the paperwork and all the stuff. And there was a picture of my dad uh, when he was about 30, 35. And it was a picture of him standing in front of his car New car, and he, oh, he's real like proud. Yeah. Yeah, he had on his Ricky prime. Ricardo Aww. kind of a shirt, <laughs> yeah. dark wavy hair, Aww. muscles. My dad was a very muscular man, not tall, but muscular. He worked for a living, worked hard for a living. And the Spirit of God spoke to me just like that. He said, that's what your dad looks like right now. Yep. Wow. wow. And I, was, I, mean, I went, yeah. Hallelujah. whoa, I started to cry. Yay. So I took that little picture, you know, the old uh -huh. pictures are just yeah. small. And I put it on, on, his, on his picture, that 8 by 10 I put it there, and I told everybody, I said, that's what Dad looks like now. Yeah. Yeah. And they looked at me, especially my mom, Amen. and she said, why do you say that? I said, because God told me that. Mm. Right. That's what we are. We go, and I believe we're all in a union here. Sure. Mm -hmm. We go back to maturity. Yep. Definitely. We go to that place, and we live forever. Mm. If you don't know yes. Jesus as your Savior, friend, yes. if you're listening to yes. us, you go, gee, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. We, you've got to be born again. Yeah. Right. When you're yes. born again, yes. then you are on that path to eternity, right. mm -hmm. and you'll be able to live in your fullness of prime in God's power in his, yes. for the rest of eternity. Don't miss that opportunity. My heart comes out to you. You, yeah. you need to receive Jesus. All you have to do is simply pray, yes. Lord Jesus, Lord I Jesus, believe, I believe that you have come to save me. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I confess I'm a sinner. I've done a lot of bad things, but I know that you are my Savior. Yes. I want to receive you. I believe in you. I accept you as my Savior Amen. right now. Come into my heart. Yes, Lord. Change me. Yes, Lord. Take the bad and make it into good. And I ask this in the name of Jesus. If you prayed that prayer with me, it's that simple. Yes, it is. Call 888-665-4483. And you can know, number one, that you're going to live forever. Amen. And number two, that God is going to take you to, into his presence. Yes. And he's going to hold you. Thank you, Lord. And you've got eternity to look forward to. Don't go away from this program without believing and accepting and receiving your, Jesus is your Savior. Amen. Call 888-665-4483, and we will pray, and we've got material we want to send to you. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back for all of that have prayed, and we're going to pray right here, lay hands on them, and believe in faith for God's touch. But before we do that, let's see what's on tomorrow's Real Life.